Hi gamers, it's Tommy here, and welcome back to our channel. This is our very first review on the channel, and it's Tomb Raider 2013. So let's talk about the plot. The player takes on the role of Lara Croft, who is looking for the lost city of, Inch of Yamatai, sorry, and its ruler Himiko's remains. And um, the expedition is led by Dr. James Whitman and an ex-Royal Marine, a friend of the Ro of um, the Crofts, whose name is Roth. And um, the adventure soon becomes shortened by a freak storm, and Lara has to survive by any means necessary in order to find Yamatai and get off the island alive. So let's talk about the origins. The game takes a look at the origins of Lara and how she became the tough ass kicking archaeologist that we all know and love from the previous instalments of the franchise. So if you're thinking that this game is going to be like the other games, I'm sorry to disappoint you but it's a hell of a lot better in my opinion. Some great features with this which we're going to talk about right now. So the gameplay of the game. And the game looks and feels different than the previous games. It brings a lot of new elements to the franchise such as the ability to rock climb which helps you greatly when you're jumping around trying to escape from the enemy helps you a hell of a lot of a uh, great deal really and um, you can also upgrade your survival skills and weapons at campfires so by getting headshots you'll get more points and um, by hunting and hunting for um, food and meat you'll get more points and then um, you'll unlock special features when you use these points so you could um, find enemies easily easily um, you can pick up their ammo when they're dead things like that all sorts of great things um, and you can also upgrade your survival skills and weapons at campfires in the game so that means if you're running about the forests and you see a, like a crate hanging you just um, get your bow or your torch you burn it it falls to the ground and then you go to it and you get all the salvage from it so pieces of wood to upgrade your weapons which I think is a great feature for this game and um, the game has a lot of similarities with Uncharted such as solving hidden puzzles in order to get the artifact um, and some of these puzzles are really hard to do, I'd just like to say. Um, I tried to do one the other day where you've got to um, get into the tomb and there's like this wind combination. You've got to twist and turn all these um, these switches. It's very hard, I'm still stuck on it. Um, but once the campaign is over, the game has a lot of hidden items and quests such as finding the GPS caches, uh, um, finding the art artifacts, the tombs and etc. And you get a lot of achievements for this type of stuff. Um, and once when you can play the game uh, you can play it in Rambo style which is like stealth or you can just run and gun and hope you can get through it in one piece which is kind of I sort of did both I sort of did like certain points I did stealth and certain points um, I just played you know I just um, ran through with guns basically um, but the voice actor Camilla Ludington did one hell of a job portraying Lara Croft her emotions in some of the scenes were very realistic and heartbreaking to listen to Especially the scene where we see Lara kill for the first time in order to survive and escape the evil that waits on the island. Uh, so from the get-go, Lara looks and feels like a living human being. She looks so realistic and you just get wrapped up in the story. Um, and you get attached to the character straight away. Um, so the multiplayer. The multiplayer for me felt a tad unnecessary. Um, just because the campaign kept me hooked and looking to explore the full potential of the map was enough for me. Um, so as soon as I completed the campaign I just went straight back on it. Tried to get all the artifacts. I'm still doing it now. It's very difficult to find them. But if you, you can find maps to help you along the way. Um, and there's certain websites that can help you as well. So that's good um, to do. So um, yeah it was, it was kind of similar for Uncharted to me. But um the soundtrack of the game the soundtrack is in um, it really sets the mood and atmosphere in certain scenes so when you see Lara is a bit vulnerable she's getting beat down or she's she feels like she's failing she's not going to escape the music kind of slows down in pace and and when she starts to fight back against the evil beings on the island the music will will rise back up and it's sound kind of like a big action blockbuster and it feels like it belongs in Hollywood um, the graphics of the game this is one of the best looking games on current gen I've got to say. Uh, the development team um, are really pushing the next generation to its limits. Or the current generation to its limits, sorry. It's great to see an old school game get the best treatment and the spec that it deserves. I mean, I've had Tomb Raider since um, the PlayStation. Um, and I've just, I've also had it on PC. And um, you know, I'm a big Tomb Raider fan. And um, the game feel, occasionally feels like you're playing on a high-end next generation graphics. It's a good looking game I've got to say for the Xbox or PS3 or even PC. Um, but you know PC you can upgrade them and um, Xbox you know you've got to make do. 
but I mean it still looks pretty good for the money that you pay um, still a pretty good looking game my overall rating of the game um, in conclusion if you're a fan of the old Tomb Raiders and you're a fan of Uncharted this is a game for you it's a must buy but also if you really like an action packed story full of ups and downs twists and turns you will really enjoy this breathtaking origin story so I'm going to rate this game a 5 stars out of 5 because this just blew me away. It was definitely worth the price that I paid for it. I was expecting it and oh my god it just absolutely set the bar for for future Tomb Raider games. So I, this was a great game for me. Um, we really hope you enjoyed our first review and if this gets a good response we will definitely think about doing some more. So thanks for watching guys and don't forget to follow us on Twitter. The link will be in the description below. Um, and if you want to read the review, you can check it out on our blog. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this Tomb Raider 2013 review. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in a future video. Bye-bye, guys.